lecture. Today, I will help you overcome exam tension, that is, the anxieties, the fear, and the disorienting characters that makes you lack focus and uh, sometimes forget what you have read. No student can ever be assured that he or she is ready for an exam until after that exam. There will always be this tendency, oh my God, I've not read this. If, if, even if you are sleeping, you just jump down. And if somebody say what you don't know, you say, Jesus, you keep panicking. No. So I'm going to handle it in two stages. How to avoid exam tension before the examination, that's outside the examination hall, because frustration can meet you before you enter the examination hall. Then second part is how to avoid that frustration inside the examination hall. Blackout, cognitive overload, confusion, my land. These things happen. So I was a student like I am still a student, of course. We all have these common anxieties. Now, first step is that a day before your exams, at least a day before your exams, avoid anything mental or physical stress that will disorient you, that will affect your focus and concentration. So, what do I mean here? Don't quarrel with anybody or fight with anybody at least a day before your exams. Don't try to win arguments. Be as peaceful as any other person. Be as very calm. You see most medical doctors, why are they always calm, not quarreling? Why? Because they have a lot of things in their brain. If they live that life of shouting, quarreling, fighting, they will lose some content. So you are like a loaded gun, a loaded bomb that if you are not careful, you detonate and the contents in you will go out. So don't win any argument. Then mental stress is... A day before the exam, you want to cover what you couldn't cover in three months. No, that will lead to cognitive overload. The process of understanding will overlap and you get confused entirely. Then, take enough rest. At least the night before your exam, you sleep well. Don't keep reading up till more than 12 midnight. No, go to bed, sleep so that your memory will come back. You are, what you are doing at this moment is not to go and bring the new thing you never knew and start reading for a long time. No, you just need rest to go in now and do the job. Because one thing is to read and prepare hard. Another thing is to know how to deliver these things and avoid frustrations. So that is for the ways you can handle frustrations outside the examination hall. Then, what about if you have frustration inside the examination hall? Lest I forget, if you insist to reading too much before a night before your exam, you might crash. Everything might jam and you get confused and you become physically weak and tired. So that's just by the way. Then an hour before your exam, lest I forget, an hour or two hours before your exam, you look for a quiet time, a quiet place. You can isolate yourself. Do revision instead of reading a new topic. That will help you control your anxieties. Yes. Do, that is, do what we call revision. Reading what you already know. It is better you are assured of those ones you have read before than you are trying to capture a new thing that morning and lose all you have read before. That is it. Then another thing that will still give students frustration is parental to guardian uh, uh, pressure. Or peer pressure in the sense that you have written this exam for years this time around you don't want to take chances you are afraid already what if I fail the failure is not the end of your life you are not going to fail so don't allow your fear of failure to overcome your hope of success do you hear me don't allow the fear of failure and anxiety to overcome your hope of success you have not written this exam why not come down until you write this exam, you know the outcome. So try to absorb the pressure from guiding and telling you if you fail this time around, no more hope for you. Try to avoid pressure from your inner self also, putting yourself in a competition that is not necessary. Since you know the exam did not just suddenly start that day, you have prepared ahead before. So my dear, try to overlook those things and focus on the book you are reading. That time you are using to think, 
there is the part of the brain we call the brocal area, 24 and the Wernick's area, they are concerned with language processing and speech and understanding. So if you occupy them with something that is more emotional than what you are reading, those things will come appearing in your memory instead of the book you are focusing. So just keep your mind virgin, let me take it that way, and read, focus on what you are reading. Don't worry about the risk at stake. When you should worry about the risk at stake is when you are not reading at all. But some will delay until it is suddenly too late you want to perform magic. I have no solution for you. You are the cause of your trouble. Then, inside the examination hall, how do you overcome frustration and this tendency of blackout? It do happen. Let's assume you enter into the examination hall. Be very much obedient to the examiner's rules and regulations. Don't disobey because you are exposing yourself. Dress wear is part of it. There is what we call dressing that advertises you, especially girls. You are raising attention on yourself. And people might now start looking at you, become center of attraction. No, that's not what you go there for. You are going there for your exams. So you dress decently, you talk to people decently. So obey the rules and regulations inside that examination hall. If the examiner says, sit here, say, yes, ma, yes, sir. Because remember, you are not to quarrel with anybody because you still have enough content in your brain that if you do, might get intermingled, coincidence everywhere, overlap of... You see yourself mixing up answers. So that is number one thing inside the hall. Then another thing is, if you go to that questions, or if you are writing more than one subject, you are advised to start with the subject you find more easy and you understand better. Because we move from the, un, from the known to unknown. So it will gradually absorb that shock of fear. If you know English better, you start from English. If you know that English is your worst, write it last so that you will not be destabilized. Now, let's assume you start with the best of the subjects you like or start from the topic you love most in terms of your school examination. Uh, if you know you understand this topic more, you check for the number that bears it and finish it up. Now, what if you want to start from any angle? The first question, you don't know it. Second question, you don't know it. Down to the seventh question, you don't know it. What happens? That is when this frustration will now increase in you. The fear, I have come again to fail this time around. Oh, what do I do? What do I do? No, 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 no. Don't struggle with any question inside the hall. Take this note. Don't struggle with any question inside the examination hall. Not at all. If you see a question that you don't know, leave it, go to the next. You don't know the next, leave it. It is not yet over until it is all over. No question at all is worth distracting you from other questions. Please, take note of this. So, even if you don't know from number one to seven, let's assume you are writing jump. You open the system, starting with the one you know most or the one available. From one to seven, you don't know it, and you are looking at scoring 350. Immediately, the, 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 the thing hits into your mind. You come to your senses and say, wow, how can I make it again? No, don't do those things. If you see those questions, keep going down. And if the answers are not forthcoming, what you can do is to close your eyes. Bend down there. Forget about that exam. Forget that environment you are into. Try to do what I call come back to your real self. Welcome yourself back because it is a sign of stress. Indirectly, you are showing emotional disturbances. So you have to calm your nerves, even if it is five minutes. Don't say there is no time, because sometimes more haste, less speed. If this happens to you, you calm down. If you close your eyes for some time, bend down for some time. Remember, don't sleep. After a while you wake up, you start seeing a new thing in you. Any question that appears to be strange, you tell the question, I know you, I'm coming back for you. You put a smile on your face. Never you frown. Because you are indirectly deciding what the nature will look like. No. Then, another thing is, inside that hall, let it be you and the question. Nothing else you come in between your brain. What I mean is, sometimes you may fail a question you know. Why? Because of overdose of confidence in you. Because you think you know this question already. Is it not this question I just finished this morning? 
especially for calculation. Maybe what you calculated this morning is just 5.4 grams of something. But what is in the equation is 54. 54 and 5.4 are not the same. So treat every question as they are independent. Don't assume to know any question. Read them carefully. Try to understand what the examiner wants from you. Don't rush and answer with joy. Then if there are, if there are a, a questions that have multiple choice, like in objective questions, don't always choose question, the option A without looking at other options. Please, I'm not saying that option A cannot be answered, especially in jump. If option A becomes the answer, calm down, read the question again, go through other options and choose the most suitable. That is the ways you can overcome examination, tension, that is the fear of failure. Put it behind you. So I tell you that you should not uh, do what? Don't read strange topic the morning before your exam. Rather do your revision. Then don't allow the fear of failure to overcome your hope of success. Then I told you, try not to be mentally or physically stressed. Don't fight, don't quarrel, don't engage in arguments. Find a cool zone and recollect yourself back. So these methods will help you regain all you have stressed and worked for. I wish you the best of luck in your exams, of course. Calm down and be yourself. Build this self-confidence in you. Relax and go in. Since you have prepared, the success must surely come. Don't be so much afraid. Thank you for watching. If this video is of any help to you, please share them to help others also. Subscribe to my channel expand this science community. I cannot do without you. Bye for now.